Hey guys, welcome to another video. I am standing in front of this, the Tata Nexon Dark Edition. Nexon is available in wide range of variants. The variant I am reviewing today is the XZ Plus HS Dark Edition with 1.5 litre turbocharged diesel engine which is mated to a 6 speed manual transmission. This car is available in both diesel and petrol and it offers two transmission options, the manual and automatic. In the dark edition, this is the only color that is available, Tata calls it Atlas black color. This particular variant, the diesel manual, costs 12.64 lakhs ex showroom. Make sure to check the description for variant wise prices. Along with Nexon, Tata has launched dark edition variants of Nexon EV, Tata Harrier and Ultros and I'll be showing them in a separate video. But for now, let's find out what the Nexon Dark Edition has to offer. But before that, make sure you're subscribed to this channel and hit the bell icon for more amazing reviews. Talking about the front face here, you may notice that this car is all black. Every part, every panel that you see is blacked out in order to complement the Dark Edition theme. The bumper gets bull bar styling with silver skid plate and bi designs at the air dam. The humanity line on the grille gets gloss black treatment. The grille gets a piano black uplake connecting the headlamps on the both sides with the chrome Tata logo in the middle. The headlight unit gets projector set of for low beam and regular halogen for high beam. The DRLs get tri arrow design element and they work as indicators too. The headlight gets Nexon badging over here. The fog lamp assembly gets matte black treatment along with C-shaped gloss black highlights. Moving on to the side profile, the body cladding is present around the car with some additional cladding on the door panels. The cladding on the door do get tri arrow design on it. It gets 16 inch blacked out alloy wheels and they look bolder compared to the regular alloys that the Nexon get. The tire size is 21560R16, the front wheel gets disc brake and McPherson strut with coil spring suspension. Gets dark mascot on the front fender. ORVM along with turn indicator gets gloss black treatment and it is electrically adjustable. There is this sonic silver belt line running across the front and rear windows, joins the C pillar, is a unique design element in Nexon. The roof rails get matte black finishing. And there is the sunroof, shark fin antenna gets gloss black treatment. Body colored door handles with keyless entry button available only for the driver side. The rear wheel gets drum brake and torsion bar with coil spring suspension setup. Coming to the rear profile, here is the spoiler with high mounted LED tail light, gets piano black shark fin antenna and the rear windshield gets wiper, washer and defogger. The Nexon logo on the tailgate gets matte black finishing to it. This applique connecting both the tail lights get gloss black treatment to it. So yeah, lot of gloss blacks on this car. Chrome Tata logo and this reverse camera is neatly integrated into the tailgate. Here is the combination LED tail light with tri arrow design element. However, the turn indicator and reverse light still happen to be halogen. The bumper gets good amount of cladding and silver skid plate finish to it. It houses two parking sensors and reflectors. The reflectors get gloss black accents around it and the bumper has a provision for a fog lamp. Press this button to open the boot. The boot carrying capacity is 350 liters which can be further increased by folding the 60-40 split rear seat. It gets rear parcel tray, boot light placement along with hooks. Another two on the other side, gets a puncture kit and here is the spare wheel with tool kit. The tire size is 195.60R16 and it gets a steel rim. The boot is decently wide and practical. Grab handle to close the tailgate. This is the fuel lid, let's open it. It says diesel, the tank carrying capacity is 44 liters. Tata Nexon is a sub 4 meter SUV, so it measures 3993 mm in length 
and the ground clearance is 209 mm. The wheelbase stands at around 2500 mm. So that's pretty much outside. Now let's find out what's inside the dark edition of Tata Nexon. Opening the red door, it gets all black treatment with gloss black accent at the grab handle. It gets soft touch leatherette material here with triarrow design pattern. The door pockets are decently big with speaker placement. Door opener gets gloss black treatment. And there is the power window switch. At the rear seat, this is the maximum legroom and that is the minimum legroom available on offer. The rear AC vents get piano black inserts and the rear passengers do not get any USB outlets. These seats get 60-40 split configuration with adjustable headrest and leatherette upholstery with tri arrow design pattern on it. Here is the center armrest with twin cup holders. The seats get isofix child seat mounts and the cushioning is pretty decent. Nexon's rear seat is one of the best in segment in terms of comfort. With this all black color, the cabin feels quite unique. So now, let's jump onto that driver's seat and check out the front row. The front door also gets all black treatment along with gloss black panel here and soft touch leatherette material at the handrest area. These are the controls for power window. Door opener gets gloss black treatment, speaker placement and the door pockets are decently wide and big. It also gets umbrella holder, ORVM control and tweeter placement. The dark theme has been carried forwarded onto the dashboard as it get all black treatment with gloss black panel in the middle. These are the front seats with dark edition badge on the adjustable headdress. The seats get tri arrow design pattern on it. They provide decent support and the quality of upholstery is quite good. Height adjustment is also available for the driver's seat. Getting inside the cabin, the fit, finish and quality of plastics is pretty good and it is on par with the competition. Gets push button engine start stop switch. The instrument cluster is fully digital and displays information like tire pressure, odo, trip data, driving mode, range, fuel level, RPM reading and engine temperature. Tata should consider upgrading this instrument cluster because it feels dated and the Tata Punch gets better instrument cluster than this one. Economy drive mode activated. Sport drive mode activated. The three spoke steering wheel gets leather wrapping and flat bottom design with piano black accents over here. These are the controls for MID and cruise. And these are the controls for audio and phone calls. This is the 7 inch infotainment system with IRA connected car tech. And it is mated to a premium 8 speaker Harman audio system. It gets Apple CarPlay, Android Auto and voice recognition integration. IRA tech helps you to control the vehicle remotely, find my car feature, geofencing, intrusion alert, driving analytics and many more. Nexon badging in dark chrome. It gets fully automatic air conditioning and you can control using these rotary knobs. There are some physical buttons here as well like express cool, lock unlock and boot open switch. USB and 12 volt charging socket. This car gets 6 speed manual gear selector. The dry mode selector gets 3 dry modes, city, eco and sport. Manual handbrake gets a chrome tip. There is some space here which can be accessed by sliding this panel. The driver armrest is fixed and get some storage space. The cool glove box gets decent amount of storage and illumination. It also gets two cup holders and a pocket. 
This gloss black panel gets tri arrow pattern on it and the textured plastic feels nice to touch. Manual day and night IRVM. The driver side sun visor gets a ticket holder and the headliner is also finished in black which is a nice touch. Cabin light switch. Mic placement and controls for the sunroof. The electric sunroof is decently sized, not too small, not very big, but Tata has done a very good job in terms of sunroof controls because they are very easy to use and understand. The sunroof also gets a tilt function. The passenger side sun visor gets a vanity mirror and airbag related warnings. Retractable grab handle. So that's pretty much about the Tata Nexon Dark Edition interiors. Now let's open the bonnet and check out the engine bay. This is the 1.5 litre turbocharged 4 cylinder diesel engine that puts out 110 brake horsepower and 260 Nm of torque. There is 1.2 litre turbo petrol on offer which produces 120 brake horsepower and 170 Nm of torque. The diesel is my favorite because of the efficiency and fun to drive factor. There are two transmission options that are available, the 6 speed automatic and 6 speed manual gearbox. Talking about safety, Tata Nexon is a global NCAP 5 star rated car. It gets standard safety features like ABS with EBD, electronic stability control, dual front airbags, rollover mitigation, hill hold assist, isofix child seat and many more. So that's about the Tata Nexon Dark Edition. Let me know your thoughts as well in the comment section below. If you like this car or the video, do hit the like button to let me know and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.